coming, but I know, I know. Change has got to come, man. Ooh, yes, it is. Oh, man. What's up guys, this is Brian right here. We got the homie Cali right here with us. What up fellas? And for today, we're gonna be doing a very, very special podcast. We're here at the Croft down here in Chinatown. We're gonna go ahead and smoke up a little bit, you know, enjoy these fat daddies. Shout out to the homie Cali for getting these. Damn. We gotta get our mind right before we munch out. Check out this Croft, made from scratch, never frozen. Exactly. Made from scratch, never frozen, everything fresh. You know, so as soon as we finish these, we're about to step in, talk to the owner, you know, chop it up with them and get to know a little bit about him, about the business, you know, how they started and where we're going from there. Catch you guys in a few. Welcome to Joy the Drink Podcast, a very special edition. Like I said, we're here inside the Croc in, in Chinatown with the owner himself, Stefan. Hey, guys, Roy. How's it going, my man? Nah, thank yeah. you so much for having us, bro. Thank you for coming, man. Yeah. Let's go ahead and dig into this. I know it's been out for a little bit. Um, as we dig in, you want to go ahead and explain what we got out here? All right, let's do it first. Uh, we have the Birria Egg Rolls okay. with the Cosume, braised beef, and our cheese steak. Let's dig into those, and then we'll venture on this side afterwards. Okay. This is probably my name. For real, for real. Yep. <laughs> Not bad. It's different, right? I'm gonna try this right here. Light, yeah. I think you need to try that. I'm gonna try that right now. Gotta get a little bit of everything up in here. I'm a crazy fire. What is this called? Braised beef poutine. Braised beef poutine? Yeah, so it's basically like a pot roast with french fries, cheese curds, brown gravy, and a couple red onions. It's like dinner on some fries. It's dinner on fries, for sure. Everything's made from scratch. Um, the only two things we don't make from scratch is our bread we can get from a bakery in Santa Ana, and our French fries are from uh, from Idaho. Nice. Okay. So. Nice. Uh, Some little Idaho potatoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Go. The onion. On this game. Gives it like a perfect sweetness. It's, it's a game, sweet. right? Yeah. yeah. It's a game changer. What? I like I like these. Good? Not bad, right? Try the beer, do the consomme. Damn. Guys, say 
too. The cheesesteak so is the fire. Can I ask yeah. you, what, what got you started cooking? What got you into the restaurant industry? Yeah. Yeah, so, man, growing up as a, as a first gen ethnic, you know, kid in the suburbs, we were poor. So all we had to cook, all we had to eat was the mom's food, my mom's food, right? And you know, you get, you get sick of it. You see all the kids eating hamburgers, french fries, and stuff like that. And just growing up, I always loved food. Love is foreign food. Like, food was like a different way of talking, communicating. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And it was freaking it was, it was small. I hear that. So then, once I got, I had an opportunity to open a spot in Irvine with some friends. We did that. That blew up. And then we started this one. But I have a call. I'm not, I didn't take like no cooking class. Or I didn't go to corners. I just. It's all top. It's all top. Yeah. Straight scratch. Yeah. Okay. You know, because you, you have the same palate. You know what's fire, what's not. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what's going to hit most of the time and not. Right. right. And so, like, fire. when I make something and I, and I ask myself, and I'm real myself, I go, man, would I pay $10.95 for this fucking thing? Or would I not? I and then when I go down, I'll pay $10.95 for this fucking thing. I'd go like, Any day. I'd go that. I would, I would put on my name. Because at the end of the day, I'm the one that's eating this stuff. This is my, this is like the stuff that I love. Right. And if you sell the stuff that, that you love and you make it the way you want to make it, hopefully people are going to love it too. Right? No, absolutely. And, absolutely. That's, and that's what we're getting in Chinatown. Like, we got, like, people were like, you, you're okay in Chinatown. Like, you don't have Chinese food. You know, blah, blah. And at the day, you know what? I feel if you have some bomb ass food, oh, they're going to come. No, yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, the food is fire, you know, and then it's something new that honestly you're bringing in China Town. I mean, we, as far as I know, we don't really have uh, an environment like this, you know, kind of a kind of an updated, an updated LA kind of vibe where it's like uh, everything is fusion at this point. You know, yeah, everything's like a mix sure. of everything because I mean, I'm Hispanic, but I grew up around all types of Hispanic, from Salvadorians to Guatemalans to uh, Brazilians to uh, African Americans, Asians. So, I for I LA growing up in LA is literally growing up with everything, everybody, every, every, yes. 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 everyone for sure. So being able to have a spot like this, you know, and then in the heart of Chinatown, yeah, freaking dope, right? right? This is it's totally yeah. different, right? Yeah, this is different. It's crazy because. We, uh, we were on our way to an event, and we were like, man, if we don't get something now, we're probably not going to get nothing over there. Yeah. yeah. So we just started Googling shit. Uh -huh. right we wanted a burger. Yeah. And that's what we were like, we want a bomb burger, but we're right here. Yeah. And your your spot came up, and we just came in here. Nice. And that, that's how that's that what hit me up. I was like, that's I'm down, bro. I'm fucking down. Bro. <laughs> My first podcast. How ironic would it be you fucking joints and drinks, right? Oh. So, I had to do it. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. All right, we appreciate you. We appreciate you for having up down and everything. No, for sure. All the fucking amazing. I mean, for sure. That's my favorite. This one this my favorite so far, bro. That, that was killer. That was like, yeah. like chicken parm. Grab a marinara. Let's try the chicken parm. Grab the marinara. Oh, that's the chicken. Yeah. Right. Oh, you passed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to pass. Right. I'll try oh, you're it. You're good. You're good. Try this one. Yeah. Try the barbecue yeah. smash burger. You try that. I try this. Yeah. I don't think I can eat both. I feel that. I feel that. This is Philly and it's good. It's good. Nice. Yes. Yes. All right. What do we got in here? We got so that's our double wagyu smash patties, American cheese. Uh, deep fried onions, barbecue sauce, whole pork. Okay. okay. On a brioche bun. And this, what do we got here? Chicken parm, house made red sauce, provolone cheese, parm, and parsley. Drunk mayo. Okay. I don't know if it's the 
sauce on it? Is this the same sauce? Yeah, same sauce. Yeah, this is fire, bro. What, what, what is this sauce? Top made red sauce. That's the secret sauce? Secret sauce. It's the bomb sauce. <laughs> yeah, y'all got a so Hold far on. the sandwiches. I don't give a damn, man. Right now, I feel like the sandwiches are blowing out the burgers, but the burgers are good too, but these sandwiches, maybe I'm faded. I'm super high. But I feel like I feel like the sandwiches are on point, bro. I feel like this should be an option and wrap for that was good. Bomb? Yeah. It was bomb for this drink, that was good. <laughs> well, again, I'm fading as fuck, so you already know. We're gonna be doing some weird shit. Nah, this is bomb, bro. I love this. Oh, wow. And how long have you been cooking, bro? How long has your restaurant? I know you said, what, five years? Ten. <laughs> And I was 10. And I'm around yeah. 10 years? So my first restaurant was a Shabu restaurant. Have you had a Shabu? No. Shabu Shabu is like a... Have you, have you heard of melting pot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, cook, you cook it in like a fondue, mm -hmm. but this is in a broth. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So me and four other guys, friends, we opened a Shabu Shabu spa in Irvine. And the reason why we did that was because we didn't need a chef. Because all the customers cook the food themselves. Right? So all we needed was preppers. So opening a restaurant wouldn't be as hard. So we did that, and then that blew up. And so then me and one of the partners started the prop. And started the one at Irvine. I went to Anaheim first. Okay. You know, but just, like you said, start, starting a podcast, doing something that you're passionate about. You know, what's growing, what's doing it. If you're passionate about it, you love it, man. You'll succeed. It might, it might not be overnight. Right. But if it takes time, and you fucking you keep on crushing it, you will be, you will be successful in whatever you do, you know? No, oh, yeah, absolutely. As a proof of fact, like, I have a culinary experience. Got kicked out of high school, got my GED. Start a fucking restaurant. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know, but I love, like, I'm passionate. I, I love to see when people like you eat my food and you go, fuck, that shit's fire. It, it, it makes me feel like it's like my my work has been done. Like, my work is finished. Today. Right. Now it's on to the next customer tomorrow, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's something that makes me want to make even better food. What's, oh, your, favorite, favorite, what's your favorite dish on the menu? Everybody asks me that. Everybody asks me that. It's I had so to ask, bro. I had right to now, ask. right now, it's probably either the birria egg rolls or the cheesesteak sandwich. Okay. I gotta yeah. agree with you on the cheesesteak. Cheese 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 steak steak That's number two. This, I think I might hit the chicken bar before the. Man, I don't know. This, the, the double wagyu was good too, but yeah, bro. This one, this one, man. I work out a lot, man. Hey, it's man. Too good. It's a thank you, man. Yeah. I mean, the way I see it, it's a blessing to eat. As long as you're taking care of yourself and yeah. everything, you know, being able to enjoy food like this, it's a blessing. Exactly, exactly. Everybody gets to splurge once in a while, you know? Yeah. Enjoy life, all right? Bringing a, bringing a restaurant like this from Chinatown and then you being being a bean as well. I mean, you grew up with a bunch of different cultures also because yeah. you're originally not from LA, right? From Vallejo. From Vallejo. Yeah, so I grew up with a very big, very big multi-pot uh, because Vallejo was the biggest marine naval uh, shipyard in the West Coast. Oh, shit. So you had a bunch of ethnic cultures. So we used to go to a all the homeboys houses. We'll get, you know, chitlins, we'll get enchiladas, we'll get from everywhere. So that's what brought me on to exploring different types of food because I was getting it straight from the source. Right. And I'm like, wow, this is way better than Taco Bell, you know? Or this is way better than Jack in the Box. And that's what made me more passionate about trying to make it because, you know, you don't, you don't get the, you don't get, you know, the fortune to eat it every day. So if you can, you know, make it yourself, then, you know, you can eat it whenever you want. Right, you know, say you rely on someone else. And that's what I did, because I wasn't rich. So I had to make my, I had to, like, just trial and error and make it myself. Say what? Well, what made you come from up north to LA? Scenery. Straight up, straight scenery. I'm, I'm 47, so I moved down here in 2000. That's how I get away, you know? Way. New beginnings. Yeah, new beginnings, and look what happened, you know? So, yeah. 
sometimes you have to get get away from your comfort zone to, to become somebody. That part. That part. Because everybody's so comfortable in what they're doing. Absolutely. But they don't know what the true potential is. Right? Because everybody's scared of what they don't know. Yeah. Right? No, yeah, yeah. And I mean, because it is. It is scary, like, you know, stepping scary. into something that you know nothing about. With no friends. Uh, like you have like no social helmet, yeah. and this is back before. There's no plan B. The, before Tinder, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is back in the you know, right, right. Before, it, that's when the dot com blew up, but it didn't have all these apps and the phone and stuff. That's when MySpace was blowing up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that made it back easier. Then we had the top five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you weren't on that top five, they ain't up to you, bro. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, no, that's what. Your top five or top eight, something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That made, yeah. It, that made it easier to move down here. But at the same time, though, it's like, um, you know, just how to test yourself and see what you're made of. And that's what, uh, you know, I'm, I got married, got three kids. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to stay down here, even though my, my heart's still up in Bay. But, so. Oh, yeah. I mean,. Of course, you know, you're from one area, so you can't help but to have feelings from that area, yeah, you know? Yeah, Whether it's sure. positive or negative, sure. it's still a feeling from that area, so, yes. you know? No, that's dope. And then up north, not a bad place at all. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's so, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. fun. Have you nice. thought about expanding your farm? I have, I have, but it's hard. Like I said, uh, like I said, everything's made from scratch. So it's hard to find yeah, staff. Yeah, train, you train, 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 train the whole team out there. Train the whole team. It takes a lot of while. You have to monitor them, yes. make sure they're doing it. Yes. So, a lazy day. They yeah. can't be lazy with exactly. that. No, you can't. You can't. No. You know? And that's why um, having the right team is key. And make sure you treat them well. Make sure they get paid. Right. You know, if I eat here, I'm not going to be you no know, slave driver. I ain't going to try to try get over anybody. I just want you to know, Make sure that whoever works for you is loyal and uh, I take care of you. That's respectful, you know? Oh, yeah. Because then they, they're, they're making this. I'm not making it. You know, I created it, but I need them to make it how I made it because that's why people like it, you know? Um, and that's the hardest thing is to kind of keep on reiterating to all the stuff. Hey, this is the way we should all do it. Like, if there's any changes that you feel we should do, please let us know and we'll try it out before you change it because it's not like we've been here for only a year. We've been here for 10 years and we have a lot of young people, a lot of followers and they like us because of what we initially made and what makes McDonald's so successful is that you go to one in Crenshaw or you go to one in Hollywood, you get the same thing back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's why if you if people come to the crop, you have to make sure they go to one Anaheim, they go to one Chinatown, it's gonna yeah. be the same shit. No, absolutely, right? absolutely. You know? It has to be to a point where it's like, hey, let's go to the crop. Which one? Any of them, bro, they're yeah. all good. Yeah. That, yeah. You know, like you know, something like Roscoe's. Not all Roscoe's are the same. Nah. Half of them are whack. Straight up. You know? But the OG ones are legit. But it's just consistency and and taking care of the making sure the kitchen staff has the same mentality as you. Right. You know? Because you get some bad apples and they'll fuck up the whole ship. And then, but you won't know unless you're there. You know? Mm-hmm. And they'll do half ass they'll do just half ass stuff. When they don't realize it's gonna fuck them up because they're, they're gonna lose a job. Yeah. You know? Sales goes down, I can't get raises. I tell my staff, hey man, if I make money, you make money. We're blowing up, you guys get raised, you guys get more sick. Right. But if we don't, then you guys will lose a job. Straight up. I'll lose a, I'll lose a restaurant, that's a probably more, but you won't be working. But at the same time, but we have a same big culture. I take care of you, take care of me. And the day, you know, we just make some big consistency. Oh yeah. Right. Oh yeah, that's what's up. And I mean it's all about having a solid team like that, you know? Yes. A team that like uh, like we said, you know, knows how to play their role. You know, and does it hundred percent. You know, some people like gotta play left basement, play that left basement exactly. as hard as a motherfucker, bro. Stay in lane. Yeah. Stay in lane. That's what I'm asking you. Because to do. that's that's yeah. how we're all gonna fucking get up there, man. Exactly. exactly, you know. Um, and just being a good motivator. Right. Being being, being a entrepreneur is is 
you, you're, you're hiring the people that you want to hire, but you're also making them better. Right. My, my, my goal is to make people better. Not only for yourself, but for me, straight up. Oh, yeah. If you get better, my shit can get better, right? But in the end, after three years, after you need to get a better job, you'll get more money, you know why? You got better than you got today. Absolutely. Because I, I didn't let you, because I set the expectation. Yeah. Right? So my thing is, if, if I feel that you could get better, I don't know. But I feel like you just don't care at all part. Yeah, right? oh, yeah. Because then they have to make sure this is right. And we have a lot of poor people that have that with me forever. Like my Long Beach one, and everybody's been there. I have all my managers, my GMs, I promoted from the clips. Okay. Because they know how, my, they know my, my, my culture. Is each, is each location different? I'm not saying many was. Like, is it the same vibe in each location, or is each one So, different? Anaheim, if you go to Anaheim, Anaheim is pretty legit. It's, it's called a packing house. Okay. It's in the pool hall. Well, where exactly in Anaheim? Downtown Disney? No, no, no. More of like the OG downtown, like um, okay. Promenade. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. But, that used to be the old school Sunkiss building. Yeah. So in Orange County, all the oranges from Orange County went into that facility mm -hmm. and it's connected to the train track and then it distributed throughout the nation. So it's a it's an old historic Sunkiss uh orange plant. Okay. So it's a food hall. Um, and then Long Beach is a is a it's like an old hangar that they made into food hall. Oh okay. and we've been there too. So this is our first download though. So the vibe is definitely different because we don't have over there is more open. Yeah, you, right. You're 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 in like traffic. Yeah. All day long, it's just people walking by. Yeah. Literally. I'm pretty sure you get first timers every day. Yes. Yeah. Because there's always people just on the everyday yeah. commute to the union. Yeah, yeah. So the problem with this is we don't get as much foot traffic as we think. We get a lot of online work. So okay. just you know, get it, make sure like people know where to park because parking sucks right here. Yeah. And then yeah. um, just try to grab their attention so they can really come here. And just you know, you guys spread the word. Everybody trying, trying for the first time. Hopefully they enjoy it. They can spread the word. Yeah. You know. And that's the thing is like uh, being consistent. Be yeah. Consistent. Oh yeah. So we're not I trying to hesitate. Yeah, like you know, you ever go to a restaurant with that hectic you, where you go there, it's fucking almost fucked, portions are big, and three months later you go there and they give you like a fucking like a little sandwich or something. It ain't what it seems. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like, uh, so yeah. that's what we do. Just, you know, be consistent with everything. Don't try to change anything, you know? That's, oh yeah, man. What's your favorite I mean, so far? So far? <laughs> I got a cheese steak. Dude, uh, we even got some local mocha over right here. Oh shit, yeah, we still need to try that. What's that? Loco Moco. Loco Moco? What, what, what's what? inside of it? Um, I've seen a. So, you, have you had a uh, Hawaiian food? I've had Hawaiian barbecue. Oh, so Hawaiian I've food been to is a like Hawaiian barbecue. Loco Moco is basically um, rice, pepper patty, um, brown gravy, and a. And a so what we did here, we did um, french fries, cheese curds, patty, gravy, fried onions, and egg. Oh shit. Yeah. Alright. I, I saved enough space. I know. I try not <clears throat> I try not to like munch so hard just so like I could try a little bit of everything. But <laughs> man. I, I gotta get a little bit of that egg in there. I gotta see what this is all about. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Munch that out real quick. I gotta get a little bit of everything. The perfect bite. You got to. Perfect bite. Okay, so it's. You said it's brown gravy. Brown gravy, beef gravy. White rice. No, no, oh, uh, 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 French fries. French fries. Cheese curd. Cheese curd. Fried onion. Cheese curd. And smashed patties.
bike and everything. You guys see that I've been fucking up all my plates. But uh, yeah, they kind of cool now. That was good. That's good? Oh, good. How's that one? How's that? I don't know. Beef? What? what sauce did you put on that? It's like ketchup glaze. Yeah, it has like a sweet. It yeah. It has like a sweet. Yeah. I think that's like the winner to me. Is that little sweet, uh -huh. that little back end on it. That's what I like about this. That, yeah, those, those, uh... It's just, it's all about layer. Mm -hmm. It's those all about layer. And, 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 and like, they're like sweet. Yeah. Yes. And be able to taste everything, right? Like having so much fat, if you don't have anything acidic, it's just like, it just, it just... It starts tasting like one flavor. So that when you have the acidic notes, uh -huh. it starts cutting it down, cutting the fat. So. I uh I commute around this area a lot, mm -hmm. and um, you guys only been here in uh, this location. That's uh, September first, almost a year. not even a year. Not a year. Damn, okay, that's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah, we stumbled upon this going to an event. It was a yeah. trip. And you know, I don't really like trying new places. Yeah. But he was like, I got you. I was like, all right, let's go. Cool. If it's good, it's good, it's bad, it's bad, but look at me and have to be like for sure. I'm picky, uh -huh. bro, so for me to tell you your food's good, it's Thank you, man. Uh, Appreciate it. You. It means a lot. Thank you. Oh, yeah, this is really, really good, bro. I need to get a refill. I'll be right back. No, go for it, go for it. Get that refill. Do you guys want to eat? You guys want to eat?
trying to build up this location. Yeah, build this location because you know Orange County is really known. So um, this is your new baby. It's a new baby. Yeah, yeah. The new baby. baby. The new baby. This is my new baby. Nice. Gotta get, got everybody get to know the new baby. You know. No, yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, like I said, with the great spotlight that you have right here, kind of down, literally right in front of the entrance. Yeah. You know, it's perfect, bro. Thank you, man. Yeah. And like you said, little by little, it takes it takes some time for you to like accumulate and finally get yep. going. Yep. But I mean, you're cooking. You Thank know? you. Literally. Give them a follow, man. Yes. Yeah. No, literally, guys. Give, give them your Instagram. Uh, yeah. At theprofit.com. Um, that's it. Yeah. Give www.theprofit.com. At the prof. Um, on Instagram. On yeah. Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Um,